Okay, Pisces, welcome to your general love forecast for the beginning of 2021. We're going to be going through to June, okay? This is for your love, sex, and emotion. When I move into the extended, I will be going into the more in-depth January this week, okay? So if you're new, welcome. I am intuitive, and so what you see may not resonate as traditional tarot for you. Um, if it doesn't, and this is not for you, that is okay. There is no judgment here. If it is something you enjoy, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel, and it's a beautiful way to give back, okay? For some reason, I kept wanting to say, hello, Capricorn. So either you have Capricorn in your chart, or maybe you are dealing with a Capricorn, okay? So just take what is light for you, take what resonates, leave the rest. Girls can be reversed. It's a general read, it may not resonate at all, okay? It could be a third party storyline that's coming out, all right? So let's see what's going on for you here in 2021. What is going on here, Pisces? Pisces. It's one to two to one. As well, I um I'm re I would say reformulating is what spirit is saying my patreon tiers at the beginning of this next month at the beginning of the new year okay so i will be having a sneak peek here of the new program which is being called spiritual mastery okay so watch for that video it will come in a little bit later today, okay? So, let's see what's going on here. Okay. Okay, so as you're going into 2021, all right, Pisces, you are pulled back, okay? Really trying to be illuminated, trying to get the full picture, all right, of where it is that you want to go in this new year. All right. I feel like you have your mind set, okay, on making this a very successful year. You are really looking at, you know, what do I want to do for career? Um, you know, how do I want to stabilize my finances? And as you're moving through a lot of this, okay, it could bring up a lot of triggers for you. All right, with the Four of Swords, it could bring up a lot of fight or flight sort of energy as you are thinking about decisions that you've made or decisions that you need to make, okay, that feel like they are, you know, hard, tough decisions, okay? I feel like as you move into uh, February, okay, you are still pulled back, but perhaps emotionally detached, okay? Really trying to, like, I feel like you're taking care of you, okay? With the Queen of Wands coming out, I feel like you are giving yourself the downtime, the self-love, the, like, caring and compassion, okay, that's been lacking in your life. You're giving it all to yourself, it's a very nine of cups sort of self-love energy. And again, case six of pentacles, this is all about you. What's in your basket, putting, you know, effort into you. And that's actually a beautiful energy because I feel like as you move into March, it is driving someone forward into trying to come back around. Okay. Knight of pentacles. Um, trying to pull your energy back towards them. 
with the emperor here, this is my time traveler. When you start focusing on you and they can't see what it is that's in your future, it's going to drive them crazy. Okay. And they're going to be like, how do I go back in time to when Pisces was all about me? Okay. But you are just working on you right now. Okay. As you move into April, okay, you're really very clear looking back at past decisions, past choices, okay, making decisions about where you're going to go and you're not making it emotionally, okay, I feel like here in the past you may have been very emotional driven, okay, and you're not doing that. You're being very clear headed, all right, the work that you've done on yourself has really changed and transformed your mindset. I feel like, all right, whatever decision you are making, you're making it on your own. A little bit guarded, a little bit self-protective. And for some of you, okay, as you move into May here, it is letting go of this past love or telling this person, okay, listen, if you want all of my love, I need to see some action. I need to see commitment. I need to see that you're working towards this because I've done all this work on myself and now what? As you go into June, Okay, you could be looking at a brand new, you know, move forward on your own. Okay, but still feeling kind of torn, like you are torn between, this is my torn between two worlds. Okay, trying to determine, you can see the house at the very bottom, trying to determine where is my true home. Now, at the bottom of the deck, what you can't see is that all of this could be bringing for some sort of higher engagement, okay? And when it does come in, it will come in very quickly. I don't know if it's going to come in here, all right? But it is because you are caring for yourself, putting yourself, your needs finally in the forefront, okay? Now, it's not that you don't love this person, okay? You love, adore, and cherish them, all right? But the problem is, is that you haven't been loving, adoring, and cherishing yourself, okay? And that has been allowing this person to, you know, put themselves first. I feel like, you know, in honest truth, this person kind of takes you for granted. And that's why when they get to the point of being like, oh, I wish I could go back to time, back in time. I can't see where this is going. That's an honest fear for them. Okay. Perhaps it's the first honesty they've had with themselves in terms of this relationship for a very long time. Know that as you reclaim, the Spirit is saying, reclaim your sovereign throne, okay? As you reclaim this, you're going to feel worry-free about it, okay? You're going to feel relaxed, and it's not going to be something that feels heavy to you. It's going to feel very light, all right? So... Let's see what else we need to know here. Tell me about January, okay? Yeah, okay. I feel like you're pulled back because you're trying to see where everything's going in your life. And this person is like just leaping like off of cliffs. And, you know, um, for some of you, 
this person is making decisions without even discussing with you. And it could be for some that they're out, you know, like paragliding off of a cliff or, you know, mountain climbing or, you know, jumping out of an airplane and you feel like they're being reckless, okay? And you want stability, okay? You don't want something to happen to this person. You don't want to be left without your Ten of Pentacles, okay? So, yeah. All right, you don't know what, what love is going to bring to you. You don't, you're being, you know, with those triggers that are coming up. This is the recognition that I need to take care of me. Okay, I need to figure out how to bring in my own self-love here. All right. So, in February here, okay. Yeah, this person, okay. We've got the King of Wands here going with the Queen of Wands. Okay. They want passion. They want you know, you to take care of their needs, but you have detached and you're taking care of yourself, okay? You're putting the queen first. Yeah, you feel like it's time, okay? This is justice. This is balance. And um, you're like, I am now going to reap some of the blessings that I have created out there, all right, for myself. Yeah, which leaves this person standing there going, well, now what do I do? Okay, now what do I do if you are, you know, busy working on yourself? How do I, you know, how do I do this? Do I work on myself? Okay, and they might. Okay, so as you go into March here, Okay, still, you are a little bit pulled back, which is making this person mirror this energy and start looking to how can I bring the happiness back into this, right? How do I be this time traveling emperor? Okay, because I don't, I feel overwhelmed. I don't see where this is going. I don't know what I'm supposed to do next. As they move into April with you, okay? Yeah, all right? They are going to hold their passions back. They are going to try to come in here and be tough and strong, okay? And determined. And that's a good thing, okay? That's a good thing that they are trying to get their head on straight, okay? Trying to ground themselves here. But with the horns, okay, they could be mm, a little bit feisty, okay? Yeah, but they really, what they want to do is they're trying to figure out, get the illumination to manifest this love coming back, okay? Into May. Yeah, pulling on this manifesting energy, okay? They are trying to bring back this balance, okay? They're trying to figure out how to be what you want them to be. trying to figure out, okay, again, four of wands here, or four of swords, how do I, well, it's four of swords, but to me, it's really coming out as the 1111, the mirroring sort of wands energy, okay, how do I relax enough to show my actions, so there will be a lot of thought process going into this, 
but this is fully aligned up with your own four of swords so there is that you have gone through it and then you're triggering them to go through it and as you go into june here okay yeah all right you're pulling back is making them think about their choices okay think about how their their real satisfaction is in this cup that has the love in it and how do I really come in and give equal to equally to this and create a bountiful relationship okay this is a huge elimination for this person all right a huge coming into understanding yeah you're coming into the realization that you deserve love and that you deserve caring and that's why you're putting in all of this time to yourself okay it's almost like okay you haven't been on holiday i feel like in a long time all right and you're starting to do like i see you doing like spa like energies okay so you're really taking care of yourself um, it really is about satisfying that need to self-care okay in whatever that means for you for some of you okay there's a period of trying to like rekindle things like you've changed all right your person has changed there's an energy of you know how do we how do we give to each other how do we be with each other with all of these changes how do we get to know each other again okay and you may have tried this before and it just didn't feel like it worked out but i'll tell you this is your soulmate okay and they do see you and see this love and attraction okay and connection with you so if you're not feeling it it could be because you haven't been feeling it from yourself and that's what's going to happen here is the more you love on yourself the more you're going to open up to see that this person has love for you okay so let's pull out all right i'm gonna pull out a little oracle here for you before i move to the extended okay yeah this is one of my divine counterpart okay cards so you can see seahorses they make for life all right this is about you coming into this intuitive energy so that you can speak your truth be in your truth and really okay this is someone that just they love on themselves okay they're like yeah i'm powerful all right and that's what you're coming into you're seeing your value seeing your worth diving for light okay 2020 may have been very dark for you and now you're pulling in light i want light Okay. you started out with the hermit okay and let me pull that out and show you right what is that all about light okay you are moving from this year into the next year and it's all about finding that light and when you do your person will also find that light all right so beautiful energy okay i'm going to move into the extended and deep dive into your january and then again um, watch for that new spiritual mastery sneak peek video where i'm going to take all of this 
and we're going to deep dive into those lessons. All right. So the Patreon link is down below in the description box, and I hope to see you there. All right. Bye.